Hi, I'm Katie Yeoman reporting for KD Chats at the Rendezvous with Madness Film Festival at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Dr. Marshall Kornblum. How does it feel to be here at the Rendezvous with Madness Film Festival and moderating a few of the screenings? Uh, very exciting. Um, I'm a big believer in public education, so this is really exciting for me to be able to participate in uh, a blending of the arts and psychiatry. And so to me, this is a, a venue for decreasing stigma about mental illness, and so I'm very happy to be here. What initially got you inspired to work in psychiatry and promote awareness on mental illness and mental health? Oh, I think the mind is just so fascinating. and. Um, Probably, I, I'm a child psychiatrist, so I work with teenagers, and that stems from my work as a camp counselor. So I was in charge of a bunch of teenagers, and I had a couple of really rough summers where uh, I didn't know what the heck was going on, and they gave me a run for my money, and I thought, I want to know more about this. So um, it was really my experience as a camp counselor that got me started into psychiatry. And specifically with children and teens, what is the importance of the arts in terms of communication and dealing with mental health and mental illness? I think it's tremendously important. Um, a lot of my patients, the best way that they express themselves is through painting, drawing, music, journaling, and I encourage that because um, it's sometimes hard to just talk straight about your feelings, but if you appreciate, and that's also a way of developing strengths. So I'm showing respect for their strengths and they can sometimes express themselves better through pictures than straight talk. So I think the arts has a very important place to, to play. And tell me a little bit about the two films that you will be moderating and a little bit about what we could expect from, those, from that panel, from the Q&A session. Right, so interestingly the two films are quite uh, similar mm -hmm. and I, one of the questions I want to ask the director is did he see Warrendale before making Short Term 12. So, Warndale is a film, uh, a documentary that was made in Ontario here in the late 1960s about very disturbed teenagers who were living in a residential treatment center. Flash forward from 1967 to 2012, and th the director here made Short Term 12, and it's a drama about teenagers living in a group facility for treatment. And so there are a lot of similarities between them. Um, so what to expect? Well, the movie that the director has made, Short Term 12, is wonderful. It's open, it's honest, the characters show vulnerability, you see character development. Um, I think it's an honest view of how some troubled teens cope or don't with mental illness. Um, Warndale, it's a documentary, and we have to appreciate it was made in 1967, I think. So there's some pretty disturbing things in that film as well, but we have to take it for what it is, which is a product of its time. So um, the two films are very similar. One is a drama, one is a documentary, um, but they both do a wonderful job of educating the public about mental illness in teenagers. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and all of the work that you're doing online? Oh, thank you. Um, so I'm the chief psychiatrist at a place called the Hinks Delcrest Center which is a children's mental health center here in Toronto. So if you just look up Hinks Delcrest Center, uh, we have a website and people will get to learn all about our center. Thank you so much. Congratulations and have an amazing time here at the festival. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Rendezvous with Madness Film Festival in downtown Toronto.